Welcome. Atomic Radio Hour, post-nuclear podcast, episode 71. I'm your host, Vince. And I'm your couch guy, host, Ben. Welcome, everybody. How are you? What's up, buddy? Not much. Yeah? I had, I had a day at work. It's, uh... It snowed like a foot and a half today really? yesterday. Yeah. Wow. Fuck it's, that. It's a lot. It's a lot. We got a. So we got a I'm, Dustin. I'm halfway between being too hot and too cold at all times. I see. How do you? Yes. How are you going to fix that? Um. Honestly, at this point, I don't know. I maybe either get a bigger or smaller coat. You, what if you got a medium like? Um, cardigan medium thickness coat what if you just got a medium cardigan mm, but like the wind will just blow right through it okay but what if you layered it see that's a with good, a smaller cardigan that's a good idea what if i layer it with my jean jacket okay hear me out follow me yes. you, you follow me yes in this order undershirt t-shirt jean jacket cardigan another jean jacket a leather jacket and a bubble vest Absolutely not. Why not? No, you go undershirt, t-shirt, cardigan, jean jacket, and windbreaker if you need it. Whoa, 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 hold on, wait, 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 wait. Why is jean jacket not on top? Jean jacket should be on top. Yeah, jean jacket would usually be on top, but no, if it's but raining... Why would you put a... Then, then just put the windbreaker on. Take the jean jacket off, put a windbreaker on. But I need the layer of the jean jacket to keep me warm. It's cold out. To put the jean jacket underneath. Then you should be going undershirt, That's t-shirt, jean jacket. Wait, no, hold on. It should be undershirt, je- fucking undershirt, t-shirt, sweatshirt, jean jacket. Wait, is there a sweatshirt now? I I thought it was implied. How many pairs of pants are you wearing? Like only seven. See, that's too much, Declan. You know that's too How much. are you doing? You know, No, don't change the subject. You know that's too much. We No, no, I'm changing the subject. We had a conference about this. The pants conference? We all got together. We sat you down. I cried. You know that's well, too many pants, Declan. You're hurting your family. You can cry again. Wow. Wow. That's how. That's what you think of me? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, so today, <laughs> uh, our lore is going to be about Magnolia, the singing lady from the third rail in, uh, in Fallout 4. I'm going to tell you two things real quick. One, there's a minor spoiler that's coming up. And two, the description I just gave you is literally everything about her. Okay. Okay, work. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, hey, you know what? Let's do a character. We haven't, like, done a character in a while. Um, yeah. I believe you even said to me, do Magnolia. Her wiki yeah. page is a fucking joke. I mean, I really like Magnolia, but, like, I want to hear you talk about her even briefly. Uh, she is a, here's the spoiler... A synth singer who lives in Good Neighbor. Uh, Whitechapel Charlie hires her to perform at the Third Rail. A uh, song she writes hints toward her past life. She claims wow. that everyone comes to the bar to drown their sorrows and whatnot. That's literally everything in her like descriptive little paragraph. That's not as much as I had hoped for. Nope. She's part of a quest line, and it barely even talks about the quest line. And in my game, I never got to do it because this quest bugged out. Oh, really? That kind of yeah. Sucks. It's um, I forget the name of it. I didn't even write it down because it was just like it's fucking atrocious. I want to say it's Emogene takes a lover. It's Emogene yeah, no Cabot. Idea. After the I events no of the idea. Cabot quest, I believe she runs to the third rail because she's there. And every time I try talking to her, I can't do anything with Emogene. Um, I didn't even know that Emogene went there after the Cabot quest line. Yeah. Uh, that would be a good lore, doing the Cabot quest line. That would be. That's also, I only have like an hour to prep, so don't yell yeah, at me. Yeah. Uh, she is an ins- she's an essential character who can't be killed. Great. That was necessary. I love my RPG elements in my RPG games. Nothing says make your own choices and decisions like non-killable NPCs. Also, this character offers sex. Which, the way it's worded on the wiki, I'll put a screenshot of it, is the funniest shit to me. Because it just says this character and then offers is bold. And it's like, offers! Like, that's how I read it. Like, Um, she doesn't tell you, she just offers. Well, you don't ask, she does. Like, that's how I read it. Um... 
The, the Kai, yes, can I please sex? Yeah, one, one please. <laughs> yes. Can I get one and then uh, a to-go box, if you will? Oh, yeah, you gotta take some home. You know, <laughs> For the kids. Share it, share it with the wife <laughs> and the kids. <laughs> Fuck, you took it from me. <laughs> um... The ampli- this is this is just Bethesda. Uh, the amplified audio from both the music and her singing it comes directly from her and not the speaker next to her. So if you go into the game's code, I guess, and you look at like where sound is coming from, like ambient sound or ambient, however you want to say it, uh, yeah. both the the instruments and her are coming out of her. That's kind of fun. So, you know... I mean, I know why that is. No, it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's obvious to be like... <laughs> they're just... They're switching the audio track and placing the source at her. Yeah, but still, it's just like... Yeah. Whatever. I'm not... I mean, it's not something that I would have ever complained about if I didn't know that. So I can't really complain, and they did it because it was probably easier to do. Yeah. Um, if you are in a relationship, which I think is a really fucking whack way to say that you're sleeping with your companions, because that's not a relationship. Yes. Um... Your companion will lose favor with you if you flirt with her. Uh, if you really? hack... These are just some notes, because there's literally nothing about this character. Uh, hacking Cleo's personal terminal on... Uh, on... No, 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 on her... Yeah? What? <laughs> Sorry, public school. Hacking Cleo's personal terminal. There is a log about how Cleo has plans to kill uh, key members of Good Neighbor. So Cleo can kill essential NPCs, but I can't, the player character. Uh, She says that Magnolia is a fellow working girl who deserves a chance. Cleo's chance is to, er, sorry, Cleo's plan is to burn down the third rail as a warning. And if Magnolia, if Magnolia still resists, she'll kill her with a clean shot to the head. I did not know this at all. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of hacking in 4. Um, there's a little bit of unique dialogue uh, for for when you speak to uh, Magnolia. So the prompt will be, now there's something special. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm going to put some smooth, smoky jazz here, Declan. Ooh, uh, but I'm only doing it so I don't go to edit this on Thursday. And I'm like, ugh. Uh, right, right, right. <laughs> Uh, she says, now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. And then based on what your highest uh, attribute is, she'll say the following. For strength, she goes, ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My, I could get used to looking at those. For perception, it's your eyes, quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail. Hmm like what you see for en- for endurance i actually kind of like this one a lot um you're a survivor aren't you i bet the whole world could stand in your way and you just keep on going uh charisma is a. Uh, hmm. I know a fellow performer when i see one good with words knows exactly the right thing to say at the right time uh intelligence ah ah <laughs> That's, that's it. You had me at that. I'm the smartest one here and I know it, posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? Uh, agility is... Uh, uh, Stop! <laughs> no one's going to get that yet. Uh, um, it's your hands. They move even when you aren't thinking. Quick on the draw. Which, you know. Uh, luck. You got a cocky smirk of a gambler. I can relate. Lady Luck is probably my second favorite lover. Um, and then she has five songs that she sings in the game. Uh, Baby, I really like the songs. Baby, It's Just You, Good Neighbor, I'm the One You're Looking For, Man Enough, and Train Train. Hello, welcome to Train Train. I'll be your train, singer, Train. Train, Um... She's voiced by Linda Carter, who played Wonder Woman on the ABC show yeah. uh, from 1975 to 1979. It was the principal in the movie Sky High. Wait, Linda Carter was the principal in Sky High? Yeah, I remember seeing that movie in the theater when I was a boy. And uh, Sky High is one of my favorite movies. Really? It's so bad. Oh, yeah. It's so, it's so bad. I love to watch it. It's just like I get fond memories of my childhood every time I watch it. There was a kid we went to school with who loved the bus driver. Really? Yeah, I don't remember. He he was like, dude, this movie's awful. The bus driver's the best character. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, uh, and she sung all the songs and she wrote them as well. Uh, she's also married to the to the CEO of Zenimax Media, Robert A. Altman, who began CEOing uh, in 1999 and was married to her since 1984. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's all the lore I have for you today. I mean, I just wanted to I just wanted to point out that she's Wonder Woman. Yes, that, she that, is. That Did you ever watch the original ABC show? No, but it was one of my mom's favorites. You never watch an episode with your mom? No, I mean, it's not like it's on very often. Don't you have Hulu? Yeah, but my mom doesn't know how to use technology. Alrighty. There, go dropping something again. Yes, yes, yes. We should make a sticker that's like a cartoon of you. <laughs> dropping something it's like, it's like oops <laughs> what's up dude me it's been a while since i've like talked to you i feel like yeah we haven't like talked and just like shot the shit the shit shooters <laughs> yeah um i took an archery class no shit really yeah dude archery's fucking bomb archery i mean really I, cool. I, I, I agree it's so w- tight when dude. did you when slash where did you take an archery class the end of october um that was like three weeks ago no it wasn't it's the day we're recording this is the 12th oh the 11 plus (laughs) one oh actually Declan check this out you ready I figured this out when I was editing okay if I say if I say it gets censored right did you hear the beep you heard the beep right of course okay check this out fuck 12 no beep isn't that nuts Yeah. So try it. Try it. All right. So I was an adolescent when I turned. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, there was a beep. You heard it? Yeah. There was some sort of noise that made a sensor. Yeah. But like, man, I'll fuck with 12. I, and I heard you perfectly that time. Yeah. Sorry. Um. What a world we live in. <laughs> what a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. I took no, this... I got my ears pierced, though. Oh, did you? Yeah. Nice, you know, dude. No one ever sees them because I here have my do you have li- Don't you have, like, little tiny baby ears, or do you have really big ears? My ears are, like, medium-sized. I have baby ears, but you'll never see them because I always have headphones on. Ha-ha. Yeah, but um, that happened, like, two weeks. No, like, a week from Saturday. You're going to get them gauged? And... Hmm? Can you get him gauged? Nah. Why not, dude? Because I am still in the healing process of having them pierced. Get him gauged so then when you come home I could swing on him. What? I'm good. So but yeah, no, it's like just something I've always wanted to do. Cool. I always thought about getting a piercing. Yeah, do it. I, I kind of want to get my nose pierced. Like a septum yeah. or like a stud? A septum piercing. I, I once read something that said, does a septum piercing hurt? And is this only the ones you love? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, actually, when I got my ears pierced, my friend got her septum piercing done. And we went to this like professional like piercing parlor where ooh. that's like all they did was piercings and jewelry and stuff. So it was like super clinical. Like we went into this... Uh, <laughs> they just took your blood type. No, no, but, like, it was, like, super clean. Like, everything was, like, sterilized and stuff. It's not like I walked into the mall and said, hey, Claire's fuck me up. No, like, I I barely even felt it. Nice. Yeah, and she said that she barely even felt the septum either. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. My whole thing is, I don't know how I would look with a septum piercing, and I'm kind of, like, looking at my profile in the john. Um, cause I, I still well, kind of like want to get hired by places. Certain styles of rings, you can literally just flip them inside out, like upside down and you just can't see them. Yeah, no, I know. So, but yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah. Archery's fucking bomb. Archery's cool as shit. Dude, I got it instantly. Really? Yeah. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm a fucking master, but it was just like, oh wow, this is super easy. And the dude was like super, not easy. It's one of those things that like, I really like. Like, it's quick to pick up, but takes forever to master. Yeah, and I really like um, single-person sport, I found. Like, team sports are cool. Like, basketball's alright. I I hate watching sports on TV, but basketball's okay if I go to a game, and 
baseball. I fucking love baseball. I could I could go to a yeah. game every if I could if I live near a stadium and I could go every day to the stadium, I probably would. Yeah, um, I love watching a good ball game. Yeah. But bowling is it's not my the same shit. on TV though. No, it isn't. It really, really isn't. And and it's you would think it would be better because you have all those angles and you have a better spot, but there's just something but it's about so being, impersonal. Yeah, yeah. It's it's I don't know. It's it's just I, I really, really enjoyed it. I went with my mom, my sister, my brother, and uh we were just like, let's do something. You know when you just have a yeah. day where you're like, let's just fucking get out. Let's just uh, go. We we went and and uh we were all so yeah, it was it was super. I used a, a recurve and a compound, and I really like the recurve bow, like the old school fucking yeah. recurves are cool as shit. Yeah, and I like that it takes more force. Like I actually felt like I was exerting my body. Where the mm-hmm. compound, I was like pull, release, pull, release. Yeah, it's definitely like th- they're for different uses. Like the compound one is meant to be to alleviate that stress. Yeah. And the recurve is meant to be like dope as fuck. The recurve I think is more for like hunting, honestly. Yeah. And yeah. well the way the guy explained it to me and the compound was more for like com- uh, com- competition. I don't know why I fucking blanked yeah. on that word. Yeah, dude. There's a lot there's fucking I'm a little all over the place My today. dad's recurve is cool as shit. Your dad has a recurve bow? Yeah. What the fuck? Why are you telling me this now? My dad's a bow hunter, dude. Since when? Since his entire life in Pennsylvania. Why are you telling me this now? You never asked. <laughs> These are things you tell people, Declan. I mean, the first time I walked like six... into your house, you should have been like, "Hey, this is my dad. He hunts recurve." I've been like, "That's super neat, dude." He carries like sixteen guns, so like you should have you should have guessed. I remember the one time I came over to your house. It was one of the first times I was ever at your house. Your dad was like, "Come check out this rifle." And I was like, that's something you say to someone before you kill them. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? And I went But then you and... just realized that my dad's quirky and cool. No, I'm not saying it like in a bad way. I But I didn't yeah. know your parents. Like, I didn't... Yeah. I barely knew you. He's like, come here. And I'm like, you want me to come in your room? He's like, yeah, get in here. And I'm like... Okay. All righty. And he's like, check this out. Like, threw me a gun. I'm like, uh... Not that I have anything against guns. I just... I was scared. I was in someone else's fucking parents' bedroom. With a gun. With a gun. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah with a gun so yeah i wonder if he remembers that um are you currently recording yes just want to be sure uh oh hey uh declan's probably gonna ask me that a gang of times we recorded an entire episode that was gonna be like a burner episode that in case we got super busy uh that we could we could uh just say like oh hey someone got shot <laughs> and we need a week uh here's a video or a, or a podcast, whatever. And we got 19 minutes in and my computer decided that it was done. And we were talking for like an hour 20. And everything was gone. So, he's probably going to ask me a couple times. Yep. Have you seen this new Sonic trailer? It's so... I literally just watched it again with my roommate. It's, it's so, so good. good. It looks it's so, so good. It looks like a fun fucking time. It's like gave me the same emotions of when i was watching the trailer for detective pikachu i was like this looks like a fun ass movie really yeah did you see detective pikachu i have yet to i haven't seen it either the the eight-year-old in me watched that trailer and went this is everything i've ever wanted and more i i actually tweeted out the other day i was like i love sonic the hedgehog there i fucking said it because like i saw that i'm pretty sure i either liked or retweeted it or both because like Every once in a while, I get hit with this, like, weird nostalgic, like, this is what you spent a lot of your childhood doing, and I barely think about it anymore, because they don't really make games that are, I I don't want to say for me, but, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a different game. I really want, I I would fucking die if, if, if Sega had, like, an E3 press conference or something, or we're at, like, like, hi, yeah, we're reviving Sonic from the dead. Well, if they were like, hey, we're gonna remake, remaster, up date the graphics on, on Sonic Adventure 2 uh, Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 uh and then we're also going to like overhaul the chow system so it's even bigger and better and there's an app so you can take your chow on the fucking go yes. and then it's like and then all of this is going to be integrated into Sonic Adventure 3 Actually, I you want would, something kind of cool Yes I have a uh, a group of friends at school that um for anyone that doesn't know I study game design Well I'm and... definitely study <laughs> but I have a, I have a group of friends at school that they did one of their 
projects and they made basically a standalone version of the chow garden i remember you telling me this and i was like yo hook me up and you never did well it's because it's not done um they did it for a class and then afterwards the professor was like hey this has some this has some merit you should keep going on it and uh actually they got an internship to develop it over the summer so i'll have to ask how uh, wait 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 an internship where through the institution Oh, that's neat. You can do shit like that. Yeah, it's like, um, it's through, like, the, um, entrepreneurial office. Really? Yeah, so for people that are in, like, the school of, like, fine arts, um, like, film and media, for us, game design, if you have a really good idea, you basically get to pitch it to a board of, like, investors, which are, um, staff of the entrepreneurial center, and they get to choose what student-led projects get to become, like, actual things. No fucking way. Yeah, it's really, really That's cool. That's super tight. I didn't know anything like that even existed. Yeah, it's, it's cool as hell. I mean, none of... I applied for one of my projects to be in that uh, program, but nothing really ever came of it. It was still kind of an early stage build. But Neat. this uh, this one was really cool, and I actually want to check in on it because the project is awesome. I really want to. I really miss playing the Chow Garden. There was a game that I downloaded, and I streamed it fucking a while ago. I streamed like two hours of doing it. Um, it was just a Chow Sim. Uh, we had, of course, Baby Frank. Of course. of course, a Chow, a baby Chow named Frank, and then I think we had another one whose name was Gord Boy. <laughs> Was he Gordish? No, I just I think it was Morgan was in the Twitch. Ah, and she was like Gord boy, <laughs> big frog. Can we get a big frog big in frog chat? in the chat. Um, yeah. So I really, really like would love to play Sonic Adventure again, but with updated graphics and maybe dialogue that isn't really poorly timed. And I only ever played like the first two or three levels. I feel it's... like a bad gamer. <sighs> It's so fucking... It's one of those games, dude. It's just one of those fucking games. It's like one of those cult classics. It's... Yeah, like, I grew up playing it, and I could never get far in Sonic Adventure 1, but Sonic Adventure 2, I played the mix shit out of. I played yeah. that, Simpsons Hit and Run, and I Ninja were my rotation. For real? That was it, dude. And I've I've never mm-hmm. met more than, like, three people who even know what fucking I Ninja is, that I didn't show it to them. I know of it, but I don't... Like, it was never a part of my my growing up i i met billy west and uh he yeah. voices ninja in i ninja and my dumbass didn't even think to bring it up and i should have really yeah and like like I'm you were there at, for the cartoons i was there for fucking futurama and fucking doug and yeah. like now like i'm looking at the thing he signed for me and i'm just sitting here going like you're a fucking idiot this man voiced one of the the games of your childhood and you didn't ask him like i should have brought it and had him sign it Oh, that would have been so cool. I'm a cool. fucking moron, Declan. God, you were there. You should have fucking... God damn it. Good he said something to me very nice, though. I'm not going to share it. I'm going to keep it for myself. But Good. he said something very, very nice to me. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm, 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 I've been busy lately. Yeah, me too. I'm uh, kind of getting... I'm working on editing for the next episode of, uh, of Atomic Tabletop. So How's that going? taking up some time. Um, it's going. It's it's on its way. It'll probably be out on not... Hold on, I gotta think about when this video releases. It'll be out next Thursday, from the time you're probably listening to this. So, okay, cool. Did you the, message the, the group to let them know that The 21. Did you message the group to let them know? No, not yet. Alright. I wasn't um, sure when it was gonna be done, so I wanted to be sure before I said anything. Okay. I, um... I've been working on a project for a while. I don't want to give anything away, but I'm working on a project for a yeah, while. Yeah, project. Uh, we're recording this it. on a Tuesday. I'm actually doing the first bit of it tomorrow. Mm. And then the next bit of it will be done on Saturday. Cool. And then if I have to do anything after that... Well, I, I'm going to have to do stuff after that, but the rest of it needs to be written. Like all the post-production. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But it has to be written. And I bought a bunch of equipment and... I'm excited to see how it goes. I really I'm am. super excited. I have I have a like a crew to help me. 
Um, granted, the crew is Kyle and Steven and my sister, but still, like, I have a crew. Still, yeah, you have a crew. Like, I, I have all this stuff. I made this. I mean, this might give it away, but I'm going to show you. I don't it know anyway. what it is. But... It's, a, it's a clapboard. A clapboard? So like, like uh, scene 15, take 90. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a little like clapboard. I... I made this at work. Yeah. Like, I mean, that might give away a little bit of what I'm working on, but, like, I'm working on something. I doubt it. Um... I'm working on something fucking really, really awesome. Declan, can I be completely honest with you? Yes. And I want you to, like, remember me saying this because I don't know who the fuck I am anymore. I will store it in my brain. There is so much positivity and good in the world right now. The fuck? Yeah. There is Since when? So, I don't know, dude. I don't know. There is so much good in this world right now, and I just don't... Do you want to do gush about it for a little bit? A little bit, dude. There is so... Go for it, dude. There's, there's... I, I love to hear about your, the good things going. There's... For me, it's mostly just the same shit over and over again, except I'm almost on the Outer Worlds, and I'm very excited about that. I fucking have not had time to play it. I've been working on oh, shit. Um, I just left Monarch. Like, I, I just got done with the main quest of Monarch, I think. Um, okay. Dude, okay, there's just... to say to you. No, I know. Uh, I don't want you to say anything. Uh, yeah. I there's just a lot of good shit going on. Like, I don't I don't know how to explain it. There's there's good shit here. There's good shit out in the world. Like the world is constantly burning. I understand that, but there's so much good shit out there. Quite right literally, now. in most places. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like I just yeah. there's there's something about like I don't know. There's just something magical to fucking smiling, dude. I don't know fucking what it is. There's yeah. just something in the water, in the air, in the Kool Aid. Something good i don't know dude good it's for fucking what? listen well, to how fucking crazy this tell is. me all right yeah tell me something i went to a buddy's house who i haven't seen in such a long time right all right who who is it just just you don't record. know him i don't think you know him we went to school together but i don't think you know him like he was older than me well c can you bleep it out sure who is it know him oh okay. oh yeah, yeah him. You... i mean i don't know him i've seen him around but... okay so <laughs> i haven't and this was a long ass weekend right and like right. The whole weekend was just fucking, like, a good-ass weekend. Like, I didn't do too much. I agree. I did a little cleaning around here and there. I bought a fucking snowblower. I fucking, I finalized some plans. I hung out with this dude and this other fucking, uh, I went to dinner with people. Like. You don't go out. Yeah, exactly. Like, I w well, here's the thing. I went to dinner with these folks and, uh. I didn't have money because I didn't know we were going to dinner. And then they're like, let me pay. And they're like, we're not. And, and, and they're, I'm like, you're not paying for me. If I don't have money, I don't eat. That's how the world works. And they're like, no, we'll pay for you. So I sat there while everyone else ate, which isn't a big deal. Like, I don't give, I don't give a fuck. But like, it was just funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then like, we all fucking got along. And then we played, <laughs> we played, <laughs> we played uh, Harry Potter trivia. Okay. I know nothing of Harry I Potter. Did, yeah, I didn't. I was gonna say, you don't know anything about Harry Potter <laughs> they, at all. They said to me, like, hey, we're going to go out to dinner if you want to come with us. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. I don't have any money, but I'll go. And they're like, yeah, come on. And then they're like, oh, afterwards, we're going to play Harry Potter. We're going to play trivia. And I went, oh, hell yeah. I love trivia. And then, like, they gave me the box. And I'm like, can you hold this till we get to the car? And I'm like, absolutely. And I look at the box, and it's fucking Harry Potter trivia. Here's the damnedest thing. I almost won. No shit. Yeah, because I was getting the softball questions. And they were kind of giving things to me, but uh, I kept saying, "Don't give me things." Uh, right. But it was like I knew I knew I didn't know the character name, but I knew the actor. I was like, "Oh, Alan Rickman." And then mm. I know literally nothing about these movies other than like who the main character is, right? Right. And they're like, the question, the answer was Hagrid, but I didn't know who Hagrid was, so I just went, the outside man. <laughs> <laughs> That's technically yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly like you knew exactly what I meant, right? Yeah, I was yeah, like, he's yeah. the outside man. And they're like, what do you mean? He, I was like, he lives outside the castle, the fucking school. He doesn't live in the school. I was, they're like, is he homeless? I go, I don't know. He's just fucking outside. <laughs> and then, like, it was just it was just the fucking... And I left. It was like 3 a.m. And I was like, I'm going home because if I win off of outside man, I'm not... You're going to... You're going to be ashamed that you even like this franchise. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> So, so I go over to this buddy's house, right? And I'm hanging out with, with him and a couple other people that I knew from school. And I walk in the door and he fucking throws me $1,000 in cash. 
Um, like a wad. Like, imagine a fucking wad like of bills. Like a wad of cash. Like, yeah, like, he throws me, and, and I grab it, I go, what the fuck? And I look at it, it's a $100 bill wrapped up with a band, uh, not a band-aid, a rubber band. And I, like, take the rubber band off, and I'm counting, and I'm going, how much fucking money is here? And I'm like, one, two, I'm like, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm like, dude, there's a thousand dollars cash here. He goes, yeah. Put it back in the band. I put it back in the band. He goes, throw it to me. Dude, we were throwing a thousand dollars across the room for like an hour. Like ain't nothing but a thing. Dude, like it was a fucking thing to do, man. Since man. when does he have money? Dude. <laughs> No, here's the whole thing. We're fucking throwing the thing back and forth. I didn't drop it one time. You I mean, throw if you me. Would have, you would have been punched in the gut. No, well, listen, it, it fucking. It. Do. Uh, we fucking kept throwing this money around for like an hour. We were counting. We lost count after like 200 times. Because we were just one, two, three, four, five, just kept catching it, kept catching it. You can yeah. throw a thousand dollars at somebody, no matter what, they're gonna catch it. It's just a weird, like there's there's literally a thousand dollars on the line. But like, eventually we dropped it just to make sure that we could, because it was one of those like weird, like what the fuck is going on? Yeah, dude, fucking wild, wild times, my man, wild times. Fucking everybody's smiling, and I just don't know what the cause is and i don't really care what the cause is um just i, I mean i hope things keep sticking on the up and up for you on your well, side are, are you still recording yeah no i am thank you i just actually just checked um i mean i understand that everything is 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 linear and everything does have to come to an end eventually and maybe this is just a period of of grace and maybe we'll hit a period of a downtime whatever yeah, I'm i mean okay. like life has ups and downs but like i'm not sweating it Normally, I'd yeah, be like, well, oh, what's yeah. the point of being happy? I'm just going to be sad in six months. It's just like, I don't just know, like, dude. Roll the, ride this wave, dude. I have a feeling 2020 is going to be a good year. Let's hope. Like, oh, and then the chakras. The chakras, my man. Oh, yeah, the like seven, the mind and body well, and heart and shit. Well, kind of. I was I was actually learning a little bit about these recently. Uh, Mercury, currently, by the time this comes out, yeah, this, this comes out. Yeah, uh, Mercury's in retrograde, right? So we're going to have a lot of astrology nerds on Twitter really telling us about it. So I love you, astrology nerds. Keep doing your thing. I, I think the whole like, oh, he wouldn't do that. He's a Pisces is like the dumbest shit ever. But my sister made a really good point when she was telling me that Mercury was in retrograde. Um, Mercury being a planet and the moon being a piece of rock. The moon has to have some sort of a, an effect on us as humans. Oh, well, yeah, of course. It exerts gravitational force on us. Yeah, so, and, and like, it makes the fucking tides do its thing. So Because of gravity, yeah. Yeah, so, they're, like, the moon has to have some sort of effect, whether, like, emotionally, to, to some degree, on us. And then, I don't know if you've heard the new Kanye album yet. I haven't. I have not. It's called Jesus is King. Um, my sister was is telling me Is it, like, religious? Yeah, it's religious, but she told me it's amazing. Really? Yeah, and apparently on Christmas we're going to get a Sunday service album, which is like a live album of all of his past recordings. Wow. Yeah, which I'm really excited for that, because imagine hearing fucking Runaway with a choir, with like a Yo. fucking 180 person choir, Yo. singing about having his heart broken. Oh my god, I want to cry thinking about it. That sounds awesome. Yeah, Um. but he Kanye said in an interview the reason why, like, all this music is so sexually charged is because the deep bass activates the, I don't know the name of the chakra, but it's like by the, the penile vaginal area, right? Like the pelvis? Yeah. Uh, like that, like that frequency through the low end bass is, is triggered by, or I'm sorry, that, that chakra is triggered by that low end bass and the, I, the color of it, I forget, I think is red and, my sister was telling me that the 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 throat chakra, which is the voice and communication, is blue, and the color of the album art is blue, and it was this whole thing that she was telling like me. Like a lot of like, symbolism going on. Yeah. And she told me she's like, It's it's an album that really like made her feel like like she could talk like I don't know what to say like the talk, but like it was you know how like you, you feel an at like you feel a song and you feel it like in your stomach? Yes. Or, like, you feel it in your head. She said it's yes. very, like, a sing... Not a sing-songy album, but, like, it makes you want to open up. Like, it makes you want to open your throat up and sing. And, um, apparently, 
with Mercury being in retrograde right now, it's supposed to affect the throat chakra. Um, I don't know. I don't know how true this shit is, but it just seems like everything's like lining up. Yeah, I mean, things happen. Like, in, well, things happen in threes. What are the three things that have happened good recently? I uh, you toss a thousand dollars. Well, I don't know, dude. I fucking the uh, the past two weeks i went over a buddy's house and had some of the best conversations i've ever had in my life um i don't know i just i feel like i feel like i'm in a weird like i could talk to anybody kind of state like i keep I'm, writing I'm things you, dude. dude me too I, I haven't i don't like i don't know what's going on like i'm driving to fucking work and like driving home and i'm i'm not tired all the time thank god you know you what i mean tired for a long time like that, welcome to being awake. Dude, everything's fucking coming up Millhouse. Fucking good. I don't... It's it's just a weird... And I don't want to make this all about me, and I'm sorry that I have, but, like, it's just weird. No, like, I like to hear that some good shit's happening. Like, it all started with Border... Like, it all started with Borderlands 3. All right, let's, let's unpack the chain of events that brought you awake. Borderlands, Borderlands 3 is good. Oh, I quit Joker. my job, too! Oh, shit. Yeah, so now I'm only working one, two jobs. So, wait, Borderlands 3, Joker, quit your job. Um. 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 Uh, there's other things. It's it's not, not, things, not yeah. every, not every goal, not every accomplishment has to be. There's not a, yeah, some things just happen. Like, there's not a rhyme or reason. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. I don't fucking know. And I'm working on this big project and. I just, 2020, I have a feeling, is going to be a grand fucking year. So, I know we're not quite there yet. We're not mm. at 2020 yet, but I want to propose this question now so yeah. that closer to New Year's we can talk about it in depth. Okay, hit me, hit me what with do you, it. What are you hoping for out of 2020? I like, don't, what do you, what, I don't what know. do you want? I, like, personally. Like, in with your life not like oh i want the yankees to win the world series like what do you want? Well, i mean we, we i want that but I mean, uh, of course <laughs> um like what do you want in terms of personal development i don't um and you don't have to answer it now i just want to propose that question now no i want to give the answer now because it's something that i kind of guess i've been subconsciously thinking about um and by subconsciously thinking about i mean something that's just kind of always on the forefront of any thought i guess yeah. What are you thinking? For me or for you? For I'd like to hear what you have to think about me, but what are you thinking <laughs> for yourself? Um, I want to. I'm starting school back up in January, so I'm looking forward to having a really successful like academic semester. I want to go in and kind of uh, take some of the good habits that I formed from last semester and then throughout my job this uh, like past year to. Like, kind of, like, really finish with a bang, because I've got only two more semesters left. Wow. So I definitely, I'm looking to just kind of get my head in the game and just run. You're going back in January? Yeah. When are you going to be done? Um, I have two more semesters. So, so that means be, you're going to be done... I'll be done December of next year. Oh, Wow. Wow, what a fucking time to be alive. Yeah. I mean, if all things go towards according to plan. You never know. Nah, dude, happens. you you got to win it before you even begin it, my man. Hell yeah, I love that. You know what I mean? Like all right. But you can't escape the question. What oh, sorry. You, what what do you want? Peace? Peace? Not like in the sense of like, yeah, man, peace. Like uh, John Lennon. Like I don't know. Like, uh, just like a level headedness. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Like, a lot. you know what I mean? Not anything crazy. Yeah. Just kind of like, and I don't want to be like, Oh, I just want things to be easy. Cause like, that's, that's a cop out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, I don't really know the answer to this question. But just like, yeah, you want things just to kind of be like, like I just level. want things like, to be safe. Like steady. Yeah. Yeah. I love the word steady. Just like steady. How come people don't say we're going steady anymore? Um, it's just kind of an old-fashioned term, I guess. Actually, I heard it. Uh, it was earlier 
today. Really? I heard the term going steady. I think it was in a video. I forget really? what it was about, though. But someone said, like, oh, I'm going to ask X to go steady. And I was like, I haven't heard what that. What the fuck? Long. Yeah. Wow. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to work on not cursing anymore. That's a good one. I think that's I mean, what I'm going to try to do. I don't think that cursing makes or breaks a person. Yeah, neither do I, but you know, it's weird when you're it's in the middle of a daycare. It's always good to practice professional. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I I and I never want to censor myself, but and don't get me wrong, it'll be fuck 12 to the day I die, but I don't know, there's just something about like it didn't censor there. Did you notice that? I no, I know. Um, do you know uh, you know the band Black Flag? I've heard of Black Flag. Their frontman, musician mm. Henry Rollins, is a fucking neat individual. Um, and I was watching something. He's very he he's very very articulate, very very intelligent, and he has a whole thing about not swearing, um, which I just think is super neat. Yeah. I don't know, dude. How much time we at? Right now, we're at 41. That's it? Are you still recording? God damn, I am. I feel like we're, we're flying through. We are. We're just burning through it. Um. All right. So, now what? I I don't know, dude. I uh, I assume we were at like an hour. No, we're just like chilling, dude. God damn. Um, oh, let's talk about this. Not to fucking go to a sour note, but... Uh, Somewhat of a minor update, I guess. I'm not talking about Bethesda anymore. I'm just not. Because it's yeah. nothing but negativity. I mean, they don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore. And I just don't... I'm not gonna... I don't want to report on it for a few reasons. One, it's just fucking, like... The episode comes out just, Saturday. If they fuck up on Monday, yeah. everybody's already talked about it. You yeah. know what I mean? So... It's just like, and it's one thing after another. I'm just tired of it. I'm now, tired of it. Now they're not it's, giving it's out refunds or they're giving refunds. And one dude from Australia sued and said, now I'm entitled to a refund because of the laws in Australia. And it might make it where everybody has to get a refund now. I don't, I don't know. It's just like, I don't. Yeah. Want... It's just, it's a, a shit show. And I just don't want to talk about it anymore. If I want to see 76 develop it into having any sort of story or plot i'm just gonna listen to chad to be completely honest because yeah shout out to uh to ken. To ken he was on last week it, it was a blast to record with ken yeah it really was and it made me realize that the number one way that we're gonna get any sort of content out of this game is when somebody else is doing it because wastelanders like i just read that thing about magnolia she's not in depth of a character yeah, not really. Where I feel like... Well, she's cool, but... She's neat. She's a, she's a neat idea, but it's, it's like... It's like a novelty. Yeah. So what's the fucking... Like, also, I think I think The Outer Worlds coming out kind of... Like, The, uh, the Outer Worlds... Dude, The Outer Worlds is a Bethesda Game Studios game. Play that fucking game and tell me that's not a Bethesda game. It's... It has the same heart as Bethesda games used to. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fucking fun. I've been playing it almost nonstop this for this long weekend. Yeah. All I did on Monday was sit in my room and play Outer Worlds. That was my plan, and then I wound up doing dumb shit. But, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's a game that's like, it's just... It's just so fucking good. And I, and I, and, 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 okay, I want to talk about something, and I want to talk about how beautiful... We were talking about this before briefly, um... There's a moment that I thought was so genius in the game, and I'm not going to ruin anything, I'm not going to say characters, but a character mm -hmm. comes up to you and they say to you that pretty much they describe that they're asexual. Yes. And I have never, as far as I can think of, I've never played a game where a character was asexual, uh, and I've never played a game where if they did have some sort of, is it wrong to say alternative lifestyle? Um, I would say that's not the correct term. Well, if they had some other preference for what type of fucking genitals they like or whatever, um, it was always instantly like, this is the gay character. You can tell because he's gay. Yeah, it was a, a token <laughs> character. Yeah, it's not like, this is the character of Blah who acts like this way. And then through character development, you find out he fancies the same shit. 
it was never put like that. And this character, after doing a quest line with this character, they come up to you and they're like, hey, I don't really like any sort of physical stuff. And I went, and I think oh, the way they handled it is really good. Yeah, because I went, oh, shit. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're doing it now? Now? Yeah, like, like, like that's cool. Like, and then it then and then it gives you the dialogue option to be like, hey, don't worry. None of that physical stuff has ever interest me either. And I read that going You can Holy make character shit, voice I can make yeah. my character asexual too off of a dialogue option. It was something that like it was just, I, that's it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it wasn't like click a slide click a box or move a slider. Like it's here's the sexuality. Where are you? From gay to straight, like pick your thing. Like it wasn't yeah. and it was it was something that I made up and it was something that like I didn't take the option because I personally don't identify as that, so I don't feel like if, if I were to play the game that as that character, I feel like I'd be disingenuous to myself. Mm -hmm. So, I thought it was so fucking... Like, that's such a genius way to write in... I don't want like, this to come off as wrong, but, like, a flaw? Even though there's nothing wrong with it? Like, a, I'm, I'm, I'm... To write in a, uh, a character trait. Yes, I don't know why I could yeah. think of a trait. To write in a trait rather than to just be like, well, I mean, maybe you could say it's a flaw because it, it, it gives a little bit of emotional turmoil to the character. And I'm not yeah. saying a flaw in the sense of, like, you're wrong, but a flaw in the sense of the character feels something like Something that's causing something. anguish. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it was just so, and it was like, we're here, it is explained, we are now moving on. And it wasn't, look how good we are for including this person in our game. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was it was like this exists. It's in the universe. This character does this. Now we are. It was moving a really forward. tasteful nod. It, I really really appreciated it. It was it's so and it was just like this is how dialogue should work. Out of out of all the dialogue interactions you had in Fallout Four, what was memorable? Like which ones were memorable? Uh, the only ones that are memorable to me are talking with the vault tech man before the bombs dropped now why is that um, memorable because it was the e3 footage and you've probably seen it more than any part of the game um, pro most likely yeah or you know what i mean like the part also that some the comebacks i think are just kind of funny um another one that i like is when you meet codsworth uh outside of the house for the first time after it's all destroyed that was a good one other again that, again e3 much. footage yeah you know what i mean like also, early game footage. If you start a couple playthroughs, you're going to see it a lot. Yeah. So, it's just... It was a really cool moment, though. I really did like this. Yeah. I haven't really messed around with a lot of um, the side quests, except for the ones that are... There's, like, mandatory side quests, which are weird, um, because they're... You, yeah, like like prerequisite quests. Yeah, like it'll be like, hey, I need you to do this for me, and then I can do something for you. So it's not a mandatory side quest, but it's like a mandatory. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like I could just because there's no essential NPCs, I can just walk up to somebody, blap blap, and they're done, yeah. and then just skip the quest entirely. Um, but like the quests that it's giving me, it's like we need to do X, Y, and Z. Okay, well I don't like X, I don't like Y, and Z's okay, but we gotta work on it. So then you Ooh. go and you talk to both sides and you're like, what if we did this? And you're like, alright, but I need to make sure everyone's on board. Like the See, amount I, of... I fucked up. Where? And I was delighted to have fucked up. Where? There was a quest on Monarch that I messed up. Okay. And it so I was doing like a series of side quests for one faction. You and... could, do you wanna say the faction or no? No. Um, I will for you if you want. Yeah, I was going to click, so hold on. So I was doing a series of side quests for a faction, and just I was, like, doing menial tasks, you know, just getting experience, exploring the planet, whatever. Yeah, very pretty and planet. Yeah, it's very a really deadly. cool, very really deadly. cool place. Um, and I finished one of the side quests, and it had two options of who you would deliver uh, the quest to, and based on what kind of reward you wanted. Yes. So I gave it to one of the characters, and I was like, all right, yeah, that's cool. I think that was a, a decent reward. But later on, in the main quest, there's um, there's a, a tussle between this faction and another faction. Oh, and I did the same thing. I fucked it up. I did the same fucking thing. I did I not understand how that in, worked. Yes. Yeah, if I hadn't have turned in the thing to the one person, I would have had a way easier time on the main quest. Yes. And I would have been able to have a peaceful resolution. But because I fucked up early on by not setting the correct uh, 
like um, foundations of a relationship. I fucked it up. And, and when I, I like, spoke Man. to you, when I spoke to you about Monarch briefly, I was like, "Watch out for Monarch." Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was delighted to see, like, oh wow, my choices have consequences. Actually, yeah. yeah. Because that's where I kept getting fucked up. I remember I was going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I'm, and I would put it down for like a day and then try to come back for like an hour. And I'm going, I don't remember fucking where the fuck I was. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a delightful a, game to play. It's a game that like, I just don't have time for. And I've been really fucking, it, I've been really hit, I've been... Re- I have really been hit with the socialization bug lately. Cool. Um, and I go out like uh, lately, which is weird because I don't do a goddamn thing. Uh, but if I'm home, like I kind of want to play Grand Theft Auto with my friends. Yeah, I mean it's it's fun to do that with friends. It's a, it's a shitty it's a good game. Social game. Yeah, but it's just fucking. I got the super cool fucking Subaru. Remember my cousin Rich? Yeah. Remember his car? Yeah. I got that. And it's, oh, you have that and it, and it's fast. It go fast. It's a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah, cool, it's just cool. it's just, you know, my man, you know. It's a fucking time, dude. It's a good fucking game. Yeah. Fucking uh, Outer Worlds. It's a great this is, game. This week is like the Good Vibes podcast. Ha <laughs> We're just the, feeling good. It's feeling just fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm listening to music again, dude. It's weird. Yo, I've had so much energy this week. Right? And, I mean, I'm not sure if I want to keep this in the episode or not. Oh. But, like, I just feel like t- telling you. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I started taking multivitamins because so, my diet is shit. Okay. So, I'm just like, you know what? I might as well get some of those vitamins fucking somewhere. Do you, so, do you want to keep this in or not? Because I actually want to talk about multivitamins and shit for a minute. Sh- yeah. Go, yeah, okay. sure. Okay, cool. Do you do yoga? Um, I don't. Nah. Neither do I. I want to fucking get into yoga. Oh Go my god! Go see my mom, yo. Do Pilates. Uh, it's different. It's different. It is different. I I want it's much to... more of a workout. Yeah. I don't know. It is. I don't know, dude. Hot yoga. I want to do hot yoga. Oh my What's god. What's hot yoga? Hot yoga. I was listening to something today about yoga. I was listening to Joe Rogan about it, and he was saying that it's it's just yoga, but the temperature is sweltering. And that sounds so unpleasant. No, it's a great way to like get uh, it's you work through a lot of shit. Like you get you sweat and apparently people cry during yoga. Like they just like it allows them to release something. And like Mm -hmm. they 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 when you stretch and you hold that position, it lets you just kind of focus on your breathing and meditate in that moment. And like you can just kind of open up and become limber and become lean and kind of just feel yourself as 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 you kind of melt into like this room of people and he was saying that it's like oddly sexual hot yoga and he's like you're in a room with a bunch of other people and you're sweating and you're kind of like cramping in like a weird way you might be crying like yeah and you're you're all in your underwear he's like you're all in like next to nothing and like a t-shirt and some pants like like those those tight compression shorts like he goes you're in pretty much nothing there's men and women there's a bunch of people that are just like just fucking getting it you know what i mean like just fucking toning their bodies just just, just, going for it just fucking going fast and committing like yeah i've been going to the gym recently again yeah cool too i changed like trying to be better change your diet dude I'm not, yeah. like, trying to talk shit. Change your diet. I change from... from I've been doing diet. it slowly. I've been trying to adopt new things and change things out. I think I'm going to try pescatarian. Try it. I love fish. Yeah, I think I'm really going to do it. I really do. I, I um, Yeah. Because you eating... haven't really ever been really big on fish. No, but I like shrimp. Shrimp's good. And Honestly, crab is okay. try some white fish. I was going to actually try to find some, um, just some salmon. Uh, cause if I can make salmon with just olive oil and salt and pepper, I don't hate it. Um, but I'm not a huge fish guy, but I, I don't know if gotta get ever, a swordfish dude. I, yeah. If it wasn't fucking dumb expensive, um, yeah, just get, to, just get it. Just get d- it. It's so worth it. My it's man, the steak of my fish. man, my man, dude, just once fucking shiitake mushrooms, swordfish, dude. I don't, I'm not eating like a lately. risotto. Oh, are have you been like eating? I'm not like eating. Recently, I've been kind of 
not eating as much as I should. No, just in general, I'm, I feel like I'm like eating like maybe a half a turkey sandwich and some fucking hummus, and I'm done. Like, see, I, I've been eating more than that, but no. The the night that we went out to dinner, remember I was just telling you about that. We went out yeah. to dinner. I went to work. I got up at fucking five a.m. It was a Friday. Went to work. Maybe had tea. I don't remember when I got out of work. Hung out after work until three in the morning. Got home and had two fried eggs and went to bed. And that was all I ate that day. I lie. I had a donut at work because someone brought them in because it was Friday and a handful of chips. And I just wasn't hungry. I'm just not hungry. I don't know what the fuck is going on, dude. I've been eating more ramen recently, but instead of using, like, the pre-done packet, I've been, like, making my own spices, like, spice mixes. Do you make your own soup? Um, uh, it's mostly just, like, whatever the spices were. With just water? Yeah, like, it's not bad. It's, it's a little bit plain, but it's not bad. How many times a week do you eat vegetables? Vegetables? Maybe, like, only once. Okay. I'm not really a vegetable person. I like some vegetables. I like broccoli. I'm not a fruit guy. I'm a vegetable guy. Yeah. I I like fruit. Like, I've got raspberries downstairs that are just calling my name. Go get them. Right now? If you want. No, I'm going to wait. Okay. We've only got, like, three or four minutes of, uh, of this episode left. What you do is you get a big freezer Ziploc bag. Anytime you cut an onion, some mushrooms, some spinach, some carrots, celery, anything, throw it in the to bag. To make a, a stock? Oh, my God. Yeah, it's the I, best I know, shit you I know can do. the way around it. I'm just lazy. Yeah, oh my god! And like, I feel like like the Native Americans said, use every part of the animal. I'm just like, yeah, throw it in the fucking pot. Like jalapenos, peppers, just regular peppers. Uh, Yo, I cilantro, love some... arugula, asparagus. I fucking love food. Yeah, I there's this uh, this place not far from where I work mm-hmm. that serves authentic Mexican cuisine. And really? it, at a reasonable price, and dude, it's it's so good. They're like real tacos, like tacos that are just fucking meat and maybe a sauce, and that's it. No, they've got like everything's handmade, like handmade like empanadas, oh my God. the tortillas. Yes. Yeah. Can we talk the about chips how are so good? Can we talk about how every culture has the same food? Yeah, it's just slightly different. Every culture, the Japanese dump. Well, most of Asia dumplings. Uh, yeah. you got the Italians rice. with the fucking like, calzone. Like, rice. like um, no, I'm calzones. just talking about, I'm talking about pocket foods. Oh, pocket. I mean, America has hot pockets. Uh, yeah, I was going to, thanks for ruining the joke, Declan. Sorry. Uh, the French, uh, crepes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like everybody yeah. just has a dough that is, that is an outside and then an inside is something else. Like, I mean, it's a reasonable food. No, I know, but I'm saying, isn't that nuts that we were all so separated for so long and then all of a sudden as we started coming together, it's like, hey, we have the same thing. Yeah, like the Japanese style of dumpling is different from the Chinese style of dumpling, but the but but it, it, they're originally the Japanese style is originally inspired by a Chinese style, but the Chinese have have uh, jiling bao, and then the Japanese have gyoza, but then you also have like um, you also have a fucking a calzone or a stromboli in Italy, and the reason why we even and a ravioli, a ravioli even better is fucking. Is just fucking another pocketed food, and the whole reason why spaghetti is 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 or pasta, I should even say, is so big inside of uh, Italy is because of the Chinese coming to Italy and saying this is this is po- this is noodles, this is pasta, this is yeah, fucking make some noodles, dude. Like, so like, and I was I was actually listening to an, an argument about about where pasta originated from, and they're like, so what is a cu- what is cultural appropriation? A cultural appropriation is only as far as you're willing to go back and research. So, we all come from Africa. There's no de- debating that. Oh, right, yeah. You know what I mean? So, is all of Italian culture based off of pasta just culturally, appro- culturally appropriated from China? Or are we just willing to say that's where it starts? Pasta is an Italian... You know what I mean? Like, I see what you're saying. I, I definitely see what you're saying. But when I think of cultural appropriation, I don't necessarily think of it in that sense. I think of it more as in, like, making a mockery of another culture. Yeah, I can understand what you're saying, but I, I also think that a lot of it... I think it exists to an extent, but I also think a lot of it happens because it's... Uh, it's just... It's taking something without a lack of respect. Or it's with a lack of respect for its its origins. Yeah, I mean... 
you're not wrong. I, I don't, I, I, I feel like I really honestly shouldn't be talking about this because I don't know the definition of cultural appropriation. I know how it's used in conversation. Mm-hmm. And I think there's a big difference between appropriation and appreciation. And, yeah, I, absolutely. And I think just because you see somebody doing something that's of another culture doesn't like um, wearing uh, one of those hats that like stereotypically a Russian person would wear. That isn't cultural mm-hmm. appropriation. I'm just fucking cold. You know what I mean? Like just because yeah. I'm doing something that I saw another culture do doesn't mean I'm a bad man. It just means like I, I saw where this works. You understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. So do it. Also, like, understand. Oh, you're really gonna fucking end it like this? I we don't have f- to. I, th- I really felt like no. I mean, the, the momentum's dead, so just kill it. Shane Ivers, good man. That Shane Ivers. Yeah, I love that dude. He made us our music. He didn't do it for us, but we love it anyway. It's Feather Duster. If you want to get it, it is at www.silvermansounds.com slash free music slash Feather Duster. Vince. Yes. Are we social? Uh, now I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can find us. God damn it. That's like the third time I bumped the mic. Um, you can find us on Twitter. Uh, the show is on Twitter. We're on Twitter. There's links to everything in the description below. There's a link to our Instagram as well. Um, if you would like, you can find the show's Discord. We're always talking to Discord. Actually, today, I asked the Discord. I said, hey, guys, I got an hour. What lore do you want to hear? Uh, and some yeah. of the suggestions that were given will be, actually, I wrote them down to be in the next few episodes. And Declan, I'm still recording. Um, so, Thank <sighs> the Christ. So... Um, if you ever want to be like, hey, idiots, fucking talk about this shit already, throw it in there, because I yeah. I read the Discord all the time. I check it at least seven times a day. Um, I might I'm really not... bad at responding, but I do read it. I, yeah, I might not respond all the time, but I often go through it. Um, if I get a minute at a stoplight, I might check it, or if I'm ordering a tea somewhere, I might check it quick. I might not say anything, but I'll definitely... Don't look. text and drive, though. Well, I'm not. That's why I'm at the stoplight. Right, right, right. Um... Uh, if you're listening to us on YouTube, I thank you. You can find us, like I said, on YouTube. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Give us a like, something. Uh, and we're also available everywhere podcasts are sold. Um, we also yes. have a Patreon. And uh, it's not a mandatory thing. The show will always be free. But if you're feeling generous and you'd like to see the show get a little bigger and a little better, you can always throw us a couple bucks there. Declan, my good man. We've got some folks here to thank for giving us money and helping us improve the show. We've got ya boy, the friendly companion, friendly companion cube. cube, my man, Cube. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. I hope you're yeah, doing cube. well. Um, um, we also have Noah. Hey, buddy. Noah's been around for a while. Noah's a good man. He's been around the block. He's all right. We also have uh, we have Mason H. Hey, man. Welcome and thank you. We have Gage R. Another dude who's always in the Discord. Hey, man. And Jordan. Jordan, thank you. Everybody, thank you. Seriously, everybody, thank you. Yeah, thank you um, so much, guys. I don't really have anything else to say, dude. I really don't. Yeah, I don't have anything else. Um, the only thing I have to say is uh, Big Frog's in the chat. Big Frog in the chat. Big Frog um, in the chat. That, that's definitely step one. Uh, eat your vegetables because Declan. I don't. Declan, what did you learn today? I learned that uh, we are on a, a journey of self-improvement, and we're doing damn fine. Nice. Nice. What'd you learn? I learned that we were going to talk about how we didn't want to talk about why we wanted to... We were, we were going to talk about why we don't want to talk about Bethesda for a little while, and then we got sidetracked with the Outer Worlds. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, good. Yeah. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. What would you rate this episode? I rate this episode... Um, let me find an object. Uh, I rate this episode three out of three bottles of nail polish. Why'd you pick the number three? Because there are literally three bottles of nail polish on Wow, my fuck you. I was going to say three out of three milks. God oh, damn. God dang. damn. We are in sync. All right, my man. Uh, I'm signing off. 23, baby! Atomic Radio Hour.